Hi, today I will show you how to knit this beautiful soft scarf. Just by looking at it, it seems as if it only has purl stitches, but actually I just knitted it and it doesn't have no purl stitches. This scarf is knitted with a size 7 needle, so the stitches will result more tighter and neater. I like to knit with a size 7 instead of a size 8 as it recommends me to use in the wrap paper that comes with the yarn. As you see here, I started knitting this other scarf only with 35 stitches instead of 40. With 35 stitches, it is around 2 inches less than the 40 stitch one. It's up to you how wide you want your scarf to be. I like to knit this style of scarf because you don't need to count each row or single stitch that you knit. I did a third example using a circular needle and I cast it on 35 stitches. The circular needle is a size 8 and if you see here it seems as if I knitted 40 stitches for this scarf but remember that it's a 35 stitch scarf. I like to use a circular needle like this one as long as it's a size 7. It's up to you if you want to use a straight needle like this one or the circular needle that I have shown you. Remember that it all depends on the size needle that you use which is the same in knitting and crocheting. Look at the video name the size needle makes a difference so you will understand what I mean. Right here, you can see that how it measures the same as I have mentioned to you. It has the total of 35 stitches and if I compare with the 40 stitches scarf, it is exactly the same size of scarf. Remember? To leave a piece of yarn before making a slip knot. A slip knot is so easy to make. Then place your two needles instead of one needle and line it up straight. Place the yarn the same as I have mentioned in other videos. And it's so easy because you just need to move your thumb in a circular way as you see here and then get the yarn and place it through the circle and remember that the back yarn is always going to be used more than the front yarn and later on casting on is going to be so easy too so just practice casting on if you're a beginner in knitting and that way you won't have a hard time casting on Make two knots, that way your work will not mess up in the future. Then after you do the two knots, take out one of the two needles like I am doing here. First place the yarn over your index finger and knit so I like to knit placing the needle in the middle of the circle and then passing the yarn through and letting it go that's all I do on the first row this scarf is only knitting and not purling
for the first row always place the needle in the middle of the stitch and then knit I have finished knitting the first row. You see how it looks as if I have purled? It looks bumpy on a purl stitch. This scarf is visually tricky. So just continue to knit every single row until your desired size of scarf that you would like to have. I have finished knitting the first row. On the second row, I'm going to continue to knit. But remember that the fastest way to knit for this style of scarf is from the second row and so on by placing the needle on the outside of the circle instead of the middle of the circle. As you see here the stitches are twisted and it is easier to knit from the top or the outside to the inside of the circle. Let me know how your scarf turned out and if it was easy or hard for you to knit this knitted scarf.